guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be doing a bob wig review this is the bobby ball swiss lace front premium synthetic wig i will leave all of the information to this wig in the description box below because it is available on amazon as well i decided to get it in a color four and as you all can see they could have had this bad boy packaged down pretty pretty well i actually picked this um wig up from my local beauty supply store i wasn't able to try it on um, inside of the store because of you know everything that's going on in the world right now so right now I'm just taking my fingers and raking through the wig trying to see if it is a lot of shedding and as you all can see that is the part in space that we are working with it is tiny but we are going to make it work and it also comes with cones but you guys I don't like using cones when I wear wigs so I kind of just bypassed that part but I did use the adjustable straps to tighten it up so far I'm not seeing too much shedding which is a plus this is a $30 wig by the way I don't think I told you all that but underneath this wig I am rolling with eight cornrows I believe and I was surprised I was able to get away with eight cornrows you guys but you definitely definitely want to get a wig cap that is close to your skin tone this is a little lighter but don't worry we are going to camouflage that and you want to go ahead and put on the wig you want to make sure that it is snug and you just kind of want to play with it and see what exactly needs to be done and as you all can see we definitely need to do something to that part but before we get to the part we are just going to comb it out and begin trimming the lace on the front <music> off you don't want to forget the over the ear part you see how that wig is covering my ear that is uncomfortable <laughs> to say the least so you definitely want to go ahead and make the cut and just take out the hair that you cut off because some of the hair will fall out and that's because you basically cut the lace where the part of the hair is on i hope that makes sense if you wear wigs you know exactly what i'm talking about but you definitely want to cut any part of the wig that hangs over your ear which sometimes is hair up there because our heads are different sizes and you want to cut it and then take out the hair that's going to shed from it as you all see right here in that clip and just to make sure all of that hair is gone just take a comb and comb right on through it So today I will be using a wig grip and these are actually a lifesaver you guys. I don't have the best one. There are actually wig grips that actually have lace in the middle. I'm going to link both of these down below um, from Amazon because I purchased these from Amazon. But I know that they have some with the lace but the wig grip basically keeps the wig from moving. That is exactly what it does and I believe that it prevents people from having to put glue on their edges because we will not be using any glue or any type of it adhesive today because we really don't need it this wig grip is going to keep it in place so right here i'm just parting the hair along that middle part because you guys some of this hair just simply has to go so what you can do is kind of pull it out like i am doing right here or you can use tweezers now be mindful you definitely don't want to be too aggressive with this part because you can poke a hole in the lace but this lace is a little bit you can be a little bit heavy-handed with this lace because it is a synthetic wig and the lace is not as soft as it would have been if it was like a human wig but basically I'm just pulling some of those hairs out the center because what we're doing is we're trying to open the part up a little bit. You want the part to look natural and you don't want it to look wiggy. So for us not to make it look wiggy, we have to take out a bunch of small hairs along the middle of the part. And as you all can see, as I'm going through, it has opened up a lot. So whenever you're plucking hairs along the front or the part, you definitely want to go back with a comb and make sure that you get all of those shedded hairs out because you just don't want them to be like falling and hanging <laughs> and all of that. And I am using a hot comb, you guys. I am not a pro at using a hot comb, but let me tell you, this hot comb was actually doing its job today. 
and later on in the video you all will actually see me burn myself a little bit so I had to put it down but I'm using this hot comb which I also purchased from Amazon um just to lay down the hair a little bit better and to help the wig form to my head a little bit better as I said before this wig is not like custom made or anything so you have to, to do a little bit of molding so I am going in with a little bit of mousse I would have added more if I had more but I was running low and I like to add mousse to the part and then also go back over it with some heat to kind of get it molded in place now moving on to a little bit of edges you really don't have to do much of baby hairs or edges with this wig because it is a middle part and it is a bob and they're not really going to be seen that much but I'm just straightening up my part so that the wig part can align perfectly with my natural part on my real hair as you all can see here So far she looking good but we got a few more steps or actually just a couple more steps to go so I'm just going to take a little piece of hair from both sides in the front trim them and then mold them down um, to mesh with my baby hair and I'm doing this because I kind of want to hide like the beginning part of the lace that was still visible so I figured that if I pulled some hair from the wig and blended it with my own baby hair then we can hide the lace pretty well and if you have a few more pieces that could stand to be plucked or taken out then you can go ahead and do that but we are going to add some foundation and concealer to our part today I like to do this because I don't bleach knots I never bleached knots on a wig before so for me I'm just gonna add a little bit of foundation and concealer and I feel like it gets the job done especially if you are beginner and you don't have the time to customize a wig yourself so I'm just making sure that I rub that in after I apply it with my brush I just make sure I rub it in so that it could blend into the lace and what you want to do is go back with a wet paper towel and make sure that you wipe the hair because sometimes you can get concealer and foundation on the hair. And like I said before, I was kind of feeling this um, hot comb a little bit so I'm just going back over it just trying to make sure every single hair is laid down. Previously, I used to use a, okay, that's exactly when I decided to put the hot comb down. I used to use a flat iron to um, add heat to the part and to make sure that the wig is molded to my head but I have found that a hot comb does work better but you can get away with using a flat iron. So I let my hair um, sit with a scarf on for about 15 minutes and then I came back to show you all the final results. And I am actually in love with this wig you guys. I wore this wig for probably about almost three weeks. I had to stop wearing it though because I felt like it was getting oily and contributing to facial breakouts. So that's why I had to let it go for a while. But that is pretty much it for this video you guys. I really really hope you all enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. See ya! So you can cross me off that list But if you're unsure, I insist you Keep me on a little longer I'd like to like you like before But first I've got to be sure Because if I am not for myself Who will be for tonight? So treat me like I like If only for a night I'm not demanding I just require a